subordination. Emphasis and subordination are complementary concepts. If our attention is drawn to one part of a painting more than another, we say that an area of interest is emphasized and the other areas are subordinated. If the emphasis is on a small and clearly defined shape, we call that shape the focal point. And this is what a shape and emphasis are. You may speak. Okay, thanks, I guess. Oh no, you may not leave yet. We have two more to meet. That I can do, right? No. the design will take place on. Space can be thought of as a cubic area occupied by a 3D volume. Any volume would occupy space. It is air that cannot be seen. The intervals and measurements can be important to a work of art. For a two-dimensional design, it concerns creating the illusion of a third dimension on a flat surface. There are methods that control the illusion of space. Overlapping is where objects appear to be on top of each other. This illusion makes the top element look closer to the observer. There is no way to determine the depth of the space, only the order of closeness. Shading adds gradation marks to make the object of a two-dimensional surface seem three-dimensional. Linear perspective is a concept relating on how an object seems smaller and farther away as it gets. Atmospheric perspective is based on how air acts as a filter to change the appearance of distant objects. Viewpoint is very important to consider when looking at an artwork because every different perspective Now, either two-dimensional or three-dimensional, there is such a thing we call proportion. Proportion is the spatial relationship between one element and another. Proportion relates most importantly to the abstract It is proportion that determines the failure or success of an artwork as it is the spatial relationship between shapes, lines, or objects. Well, I hope you learned at least something. Yeah, you can't leave. Yeah, I think I figured that out. Good. Last guy's pretty precious. Thanks for the help. See you around. large role in the elements of design. These are determined by hue, brightness, and saturation. We all know the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. The secondary colors, green, purple, and orange. As for tertiary, yellow-green, red-violet, and yellow-orange. With the help of tints and shades, combining two or three colors can create a new color every time. Color consciously and unconsciously affects our moods, sway our thinking, and soothe or irritate the eyes, which makes it very important when we create or look at an artwork. Value refers to the relative lightness or darkness of a certain area. Value can be used for emphasis. Variations in value are used to create a focal point for the design of a picture. A light figure on a dark background will immediately be recognized as the center of attention. Similarly for a dark figure on a mostly white background. Gradations of value are also used to create the illusion of depth. Areas of light and dark can give a three-dimensional impression 
when executed just right, such as when shading areas of a Given that color is of utmost importance, now we move on to balance. Balance in design can be either monotonous or uninteresting. The most visually satisfying solution balance should have is to have a dominant element balanced by a supporting minor element. Balance should be taken note of when it comes to coloring or informing the image. For a balanced color arrangement, there should be a dominant color temperature. This will cause attention to go from the subordinate color as it will stand out in the dominant field. An overall cool colored temperature can be balanced by a small area of warm or vice versa. In forming balance, formal balance is a safe, solid symmetrical balance used in much religious art. It is serious and predictable in keeping with the message it delivers. Informal balance is the asymmetrical and dynamic, allowing the artist much more freedom of expression. And that's color and balance. Am I free yet? Oh, no. I hope you learned something. Else. Is that it? Just gonna leave me? Can I leave with you? I'm so fucking out time. Before you leave, there's some things that the masters haven't told you yet. It's about harmony and variety. Variety means to change the character of an element to make it different. It also complements to unity and is needed to create visual interest. Without unity, an image is chaotic and unreadable. Without variety, it is dull and uninteresting. Good design is balance of unity and variety is needed in a good design. The ways to vary elements include lines, shapes, colors, values, and texture. And that is all you need to know about variety. What about harmony? That is for you to find out. <laughs>